I'm Lonnie. I'm German. I'm Bouncer. And I'm Cloud. Today we drew this alphabet dictionary chart. Yes, I agree. On our name, it says R, G, B, and C. That's just their names for short. On the one next to the last letter, it says for Andreas on Andreas Cutler's one time crew. And the crew are, of course, are us as Ronnie, German, Bouncer, and Cloud. So that's who they are, pretty much. Yes, I agree. Anyways, let's get started. A. A is for apple. Apples are a type of fruit that can be red, yellow, or green. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But that's an idiom. An apple a day keeps the doctor away doesn't mean if you eat an apple, the doctor has to go away. Let us know in the comments of what do you think an apple a day keeps the doctor away means. If you said an apple a day keeps the doctor away means that apples keep you healthy in the comments, then you are, then you are correct. Yes, I agree. Now here is a story of us going to an apple orchard to pick some apples from an apple tree. So guys, what do you want to do today? How about we go pick some apples from an apple tree? Because I feel like I want to eat some apples. But what color apples? Where are the apple trees located? According to research, the apple trees are located at an apple orchard. And in the apple orchard, there are red apples on the apple trees. Okay, that's the apples we wanted. Yes, I agree. All right, good choice. Now, let's go to the apple orchard. We're here at the apple orchard. Carl, do you want to go pick the apples? Sure, but the trees are too tall. I'm going to need Bouncer's help. Okay, good idea. Because I'm sure Bouncer's your big brother. He's going to help you. Okay, Claude, get on my back so you can pick up the apples. Okay. One, two. Now to get two more. One, two. Good. We got four apples, Ronnie. Okay, Claude, good job. I have one apple for you, one for German, one for my brother, and one for me. Good. Okay. Now let's eat our apples. <laughs> Mmm, they taste so good. I love these apples. Huh? There's something in my apple. Something green and little with no legs or no limbs. Hmm, I wonder what that can be. It's a worm. A worm was in my apple. <laughs> That's silly. I think probably the worm wanted to pay you a visit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, yeah, that was funny. I didn't know there would be a worm. I think probably it wanted to pay us a visit. Okay. In the story, all right, B. B is for ball. Balls are a type of round object that can be used for playing. Balls can also be used for playing with sports. So, balls can be used for playing catch, playing ball games, and doing sports like tennis, soccer, football, paddle tennis, ping pong, handball, and much more. Now sit back and relax as you watch us play all together Catch. Catch, Bouncer. Catch, German. Catch, Ronnie. Catch, Cloud. Yes, that was a fun playing catch. End of story. That one was quick. C. C is for car. Cars are a type of vehicle that can be used for transportation to get to one place from another. They also have wheels, but require gas to go. Okay, now sit back and relax as you watch us drive in our car in the city. So guys, what do you want to do today? I think let's go for a drive in the city. Yes, I agree. All right, everyone in. I can drive because I'm the biggest. All right, Bouncer's driving. Now let's see if I or German is bigger. Let us know in the comments who is bigger. German or I? If you said German, you are correct. Okay, German. So you're going to sit next to Bouncer in the front. So you're like the navigator. You can help Bouncer where to drive. And I'll sit in the back with Cloud. Come on in, Cloud. Okay, that's what I was about to do. Good. Is everyone ready? Yes, Bouncer. Then let's go. <laughs> 
I'm excited to see the city. I know, Cloud. It's going to be fun. You're going to see lots of fun things. Look at there. Birds in the sky. Amazing. Look at all the tall buildings and cars next to us. In front of us and behind us. And on the other lane. Amazing. We're back home. <laughs> How could that be so quick? We went in a circle. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> D. D is for drum. Drums are a type of musical instrument that you use for playing with. Some drums use, you can use for playing with your hands, and other drums you use playing with drumsticks. Now sit back and relax as you watch us play drums as a band. So guys, are you ready to play drums for everyone watching? Sure. Yes. All right. Now let's go. <laughs> And the story. E. E is for egg. Eggs are a kind of food that are that can be either edible for eating for egg whites or cracking, or eggs can also hatch with babies from egg-laying animals like birds, reptiles, fish, amphibians, and, and two mammals, the platypus and the echidna. Now you guys sit back and relax as we have eggs and bacon for breakfast. So guys, let's have some eggs and bacon for breakfast. Sure thing, it's going to be fun. Okay, Bouncer and Cloud, you guys can do whatever you want while we bake. Sure. Oh yeah, let's go, Bouncer. Let's go watch some TV. I'll cook the eggs, and I'll cook the bacon. Fifteen minutes later, Bouncer, Cloud, the eggs and the bacon are ready. Okay, Ronnie, we're coming. All right, and here is a plate for each of us. One egg white and one cracked yolk, because I decided I think we should add that. And two bacon slices for each of us. Oh, yeah. Mm, I love this breakfast. It's so delicious. Thank you, Ronnie and German. You're welcome, Cloud. Not a problem. It was the least we can do. I totally agree. They taste so good. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. It was the least we can do. End of story. F. F is for flowers. Flowers are a type of plant that grow when you water them in the soil. You plant a seed, and each day you water them, it grows. But be careful. The less you water them, the drier it gets, and they die from drought. Now pay attention so you can sit back and relax as we plant a garden full of flowers. So guys, let's plant a flower. Okay, let's set up a garden. Each of us will have a job. I'll plant the seed. I'll get the flower pot. I'll use the watering can. I'll get the watering can. And I can water it. Sure, let's go do our stuff. Five minutes later. Good, we've got everything. I've got the flower pot planting the seed. I've got the watering can, and it's full of cold water. Okay, Cloud, water them. There. Two days later. Ooh, our flowers have leaves on them. They're starting to grow. Three more days later. Wow. It became a flower. That's so amazing. Yeah, I love it. I think we should put it in our garden. Nah, we should leave it in our flower pot. It looks good there. Okay, I think I agree with German. Yeah, I think probably it'd be good in the flower pot. Well, it would be good in a garden, but I think probably it's most convenient if we leave it in a flower pot. End of story. G. G is for guitar. Guitars are a type of musical instrument that you play with. You play with the strings, and then it plays. Now you guys sit back and relax, so that way, as we play the guitar. Okay, everyone, how about we play the guitar? Yeah, sure thing. It's kind of like playing the drums, but it's different. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
and a story that was fun playing the guitar. H. H is for hammer. Hammers are a kind of tool that you use to put in nails for something. Hammers can also be used for construction work at the construction site. Now sit back and relax as we use these hammers to make a building. It's a good day to be at the construction site. But what can we do? How are we going to be able to build a building? Let's go get some building materials. I'll go get them. Okay. Ten minutes later. I have the building materials. Let's use a hammer. Then we'll put everything together. I'll go get some nails so you can hammer them. Thanks, German. Three minutes later. I've got some nails. Good. Now let's start building. Ten minutes later. Wow, this building looks amazing. With all of us using teamwork to hammer the nails in, our building looks amazing. End of story. I. I is for igloo. Igloos are a type of warm, cozy home that is made of ice bricks that people stay in whenever they're cold, when, they're, when they're in a freezing area like in the North Pole or in Alaska. Now sit back and relax as we build an igloo in the snow and then we sit back in and relax in there. So guys, that we're in the snow, how about we build an igloo? Hey, sure, it's freezing and I need to warm up. Yeah, I agree. We're all freezing. Let's go work together to, so that way we can get some ice bricks so we can build the igloo. 20 minutes later, our igloo is done. Let's go get inside. It's much warmer in here. So cozy. Look over there. There's even a glowing fire. Awesome. I feel like as if we, I feel like this is like a campfire. Awesome. End of story. J. J is for jump rope. Jump ropes are ropes that are used for exercise that you can use to jump with. Now sit back and relax as we show you how to jump rope. Okay, here are some good steps to that way you can jump rope good. First, put the jump rope behind your feet. Next step, you put the jump rope and the key so you can jump for survival is jump when the rope gets to your feet. And then you keep jumping until you can't do it anymore. Now you guys try. Oh yeah, let's go jump all together. Brothers are jumping together. I'll try. <laughs> if you missed anything. End of story. Cool. K. K is for key. Keys are a type of small objects that are used for unlocking things that require a key. Like if there's a lock and if something's locked and you have the lock, use the key to unlock it. Now sit back and relax as we try to figure out a mystery of how to get out of the room. It sure is dark in here. How are you going to escape? This is the key, and this is the way out. Yeah, I agree. This key can work. It can unlock the lock. Good choice, Cloud. I'll go unlock it. Yes, we're free. End of story. L. L is for ladder. Ladders are something that you use to climb things so you can reach things high. Ladders are kind of like big staircases. Cool. Now sit back and relax as we use a ladder so that way we can fix a leak. Look at that leak. It sure is so high. We can't, none of us can reach it. I think we should get a ladder. That can help us. Here's a ladder. It's a very big one. That can help us. Maybe too big. I'll, sh I'll shrink it a little bit so we don't hit the roof. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. I'll bet that's more like it. All right. I'll go fix the leak. Good luck, German. You can do it. Done. Now to climb back down to my friends. I fixed the leak. I used tape to block the water. Awesome, German. You did it. End of story. 
M. M is for money. Money are things that you use to buy things. That's what money is. Coins can be stored in a piggy bank too. And here is some money that we drew. We drew a piggy bank with some coins and we drew three $100 bills as an example. Now sit back and relax as we, as if we were famous on YouTube and we were earning money. Wow, look at our videos. Look at how much money we earned from it. We got $50. Amazing. I think if we keep earning some, we'll be able to get some more costly things. Or we can even get lots of Legos. Cool. Or maybe if we have even enough, we can also get some of the new Legos that are released next year or in the future. Yeah. So fun. And the story. N. N is for nest. Nests are things that are made of wood that animals create to lay their eggs. Now sit back and relax as we watch baby birds in their nest hatching from an egg and their mom and dad caring for them. This is the most perfect time. Look, the, the eggs are about to hatch. Oh, they're hatching. Aww, cute baby birds. Amazing. That's the mommy and daddy bird. Hey, where'd they go? Don't worry, Ronnie. They're only going to get food for the babies. <laughs> cool. Two weeks later. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Now the birds are old enough to be on their own and they can fly. Now it looks like the female birds are going to make a new nest whenever they want to lay their eggs. Cool. End the story. O. O is for orange. Oranges are a type of brown, orange, juicy citrus fruit that can be used for eating and making orange juice. Now sit back and relax as we use oranges to make an orange juice. Okay, how can we make orange juice today? Let's get some oranges from the supermarket. Cool. And let's also get a machine so that way we can also, we can also squeeze the oranges. 20 minutes later. Cool. We got the oranges in the machine. Now let's go make our orange juice. <laughs> 10 minutes later. Cool. Our orange juices are done. Mm, 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 mm. Looks so good. So good. Ah, this is the best orange juice I ever tasted. Me too. And the story. P. P is for paint. Paint is used whenever you want to color walls. Paint comes with watercolors and a paintbrush. And you use water in a napkin to dry out the other paint and to wash off the color. Paint can be used for anything if, you, if that requires paint. Now sit back and relax as we paint a picture on an easel. So what should we paint today? We've got a paintbrush and colors. How will we paint all of us as the crew? Good idea. Let's all work together. I'll paint myself. I'll paint me. And let's go paint each other. You you first, Bouncer. Thanks, Cloud. Now your turn. Okay. Look at that picture. Looks amazing, does it? Yeah. I think that's the best picture of us ever. End of story. Q. Q is for quarter. Quarters are a type of money. Quarters are worth 25 cents and they are are one fourth of a dollar. If you want one dollar, you need four quarters to make a dollar. Now sit back and relax at, as we see how much money we make with 20 quarters. We have 20 quarters. Let's sort them all into fours to see how many dollars we make. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Four times five is 20. And then twenty dollars, I mean twenty quarters divided by four groups is five dollars. Wow, cool! We made five dollars. Amazing, cool. And a story. R, R is for rainbow. Rainbows are rare colors that appear from the sky when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. 
Sometimes rainbows can appear when you least expect it. Now sit back and relax as we watch a rainbow appear from the sky. Wow! Look at all the beautiful colors on the rainbow. Come on, bounce it, cloud. Look, sure, we'll go. Look at all the colors. There is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet purple. Such beautiful colors. End of story. S. S is for swing. The swings we do in the picture are swings that can be found at the park. Now sit back and relax as we swing on the swings at the park. It's a good day to go to the park. Let's go. I have an idea. There are two swing sets and two swings in one set. So we'll be able to swing. Yeah, yeah woohoo. Let's go. Wee! The swinging is sure is fun. <laughs> awesome. End of story. T. T is for tree. Trees are a type of plant that can be grown in forests or jungles. Many type of tree wildlife live there. Now sit back and relax as you watch us look at all the types of wildlife in the tree. So guys, let's go to tree. I saw some wildlife. Maybe you guys would want to see. That's a good point, Ronnie. Yeah, let's go see them. Cool. It looks like there are squirrels, bugs, and birds. Awesome. Look at that. There's even a raccoon. Love the wildlife. Oh, I'm a raccoon too. Can I go check it out? Yes, you can, Ronnie. Hello, I'm a raccoon too. What's your name? It's pleased to meet you. <laughs> well, I'd like to talk, but I have to go because my crew's waiting for me down. Bye. End of story. You. You is for umbrella. Umbrellas are a type of object that can help you keep dry when it's raining. Well, not like really, really dry, but like it can help prevent you from coming back inside soaking wet. Now sit back and relax as we try to figure out how we can use an umbrella so we don't come back to our house soaking wet on a rainy day. It's raining and I really want to play outside, but we're getting wet and we can't be soaking wet when we get home. Yeah, I agree. I know, I got an umbrella. Let's go get it for all of us. There, now, now we can, now, now we'll be able to be safe in the rain. Well, 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 I know, but but we're also super lucky that there's no thunderstorm. Because if there were thunderstorms, the light, the lightning may zap our umbrella, and then we'd be unprotected. Okay, but at least there's no thunderstorms. Good. End of story. V. V is for vibrations. Vibrations are things that you feel like, like that. <laughs> oh, I think you know the rest. If you don't know, we kind of don't know, but like. If you know what vibrations are, tell us in the comments. Now sit back and relax as we go into a room with vibrations. I wonder what's in this room. Come on, let's go. Wow, I'm vibrating. Me too. Hey, I'm vibrating. Wow, this feels so vibrating. Awesome. I feel vibrating. End of story. <clears throat> that was fun. W. W is for watch. According to the watch we drew, watches are things that can that you wear on your arm that can help you keep track of the time. Now sit back and relax as we use our watch to keep track of the time. So guys, what is it? <laughs> hmm. Okay. On my watch, it says it's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I have a watch too, and it's 3 p.m. Cool, that was quick. Huh? <laughs> we were going to remember all the time. Ha <laughs> ha. End the story. X. X is for x ray. X rays are things that you use as a doctor, so that way doctors can scan your body inside and see your skull just to make sure you don't have any broken bones. Now sit back and relax as we. 
go to the doctor to check all x-ray. So, who is my first patient? I am. I'm ready to get my x-ray checked for any broken bones. Okay, stand right here. No broken bones. You're good to go. Wow, that was quick. Who's next? I am. Let me check your x-ray. No broken bones for you either. Awesome. How about you? No broken bones. I'm proud of you. And who's last? I am. No broken bones. I'm proud of all of you. You had no broken bones. Wow. That's cool. End of story. Why? Why is for yo-yo. The reason why I drew that line on the uppercase Y is because we, you guys didn't want to get mistaken which was which because I kind of attached it. So what I drew was the part that was the Y and the part that was part of the yo-yo string. So anyways, yo-yos can vary in colors for the circle and they can be used to play with and go like this. Now sit back and relax as we play with a yellow yo-yo. Let's play with a yellow yo-yo. Let's check out my yo-yo. Cool cloud, check out my yellow yo-yo. My yellow yo-yo. And my yellow yo-yo. That was fun. All of our yellow yo-yos were a success. Let's do it again. End the story. And lastly, Z. Z is for zoo. A zoo is a big place that has animals safely behind glass fences or tanks. So that way you can stay safe and you will be able to see the animals. Now sit back and relax as we go to the zoo and see the animals. This zoo is amazing. There's lots of animals there. Yeah. Look at all the animals they have in the zoo. They have hippos, rhinos, elephants, lions, parrots, flamingos, leopards, giraffes, buffaloes, koalas, kangaroos, gorillas, and so much more. I don't know what my favorite animal is, but it's all of them here at the zoo. Wow. End of story. Well, now that's our video ending part. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Yeah, if you missed the reminders, here they are again. If you enjoyed and liked this video, touch that thumbs up button. Comment down below of what you think the answers when the idioms and what you think about our pictures turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our new uploads and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel thank you for so so much for watching and supporting on dress card list fun time with views and all our public watch hours and subscribers that count toward getting money from youtube in the future when we become famous thank you so so much for watching we will see you soon bye everyone